Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Samax Code and in this video guys we're going to be starting the POS video tutorial series where we will be using JavaFX to create a point of sale system for a restaurant. Now I have here my IDE or NetBeans IDE. I'm currently using the version um, 12.0 and of course I'm going to guide you th through all the steps that we're going to be uh, needing to create a POS or point of sale system. So first off, of course, we're going to be um, creating the project. So all we have to do is uh, go to file and then new project. So of course, guys, um, I have here the option for Java with Ant. There you go. And then Java FX. And then I just have to click on the JavaFX application and click on next. Now the default platform that is set here is the Java version 8 or Java 1.8 and um, we're going to change this. So for now let's just name our um, project as point of sale. And then I'm just going to leave the project location as the default one. So NetBeans um, documents and then NetBeans projects. And of course, you can change this if you want. But in my case, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And the project folder will be point of sale. For the JavaFX platform, you can use um, Java or yeah, JDK 1.8. But um, I want this tutorial to be as updated as possible. So... I'm going to be using um, the version 15. So I think this particular version is um, included or the Zulu version 15 includes most likely 14 or 15. Uh, Java version 14, I think. Uh, Java 15. So... I'm going to choose this, Zulu 15. By the, way, uh, by the way, if you want to use this, the updated version of Java with Java effects included, uh, I have a video tutorial. So I'm going to be placing the link on the description box below so you can try to install your latest version of Java and Java effects. So uh, you can just manage platforms and then add platform. And of course, you need to specify Java Standard Edition and click on Next. And then you have to um, click on the Zulu folder or directory that you have downloaded from a Zulu website. So again, the video on that is on the description box below so you can follow along with this tutorial. So I'm just going to close this. So I think that's good and then we're going to be, we, we don't need to create an application class for now. So click uh, uncheck this or untick this, and click on finish. So we'll wait for a few seconds and um, it's going to create our project, which is right here, point of sale. Now we have this default setup, right? Now what we can do, of course, is to create the login form for our point of sale. So what we can do is add the fxml file. For example, here, right click on the default package. But if you want to, you know, create a custom package, you can do that. But for now, I'm just going to uh, use the default package and right click on this and new empty fxml file. And then um, I'm going to type in login and click on next. Um, I'm going to use Java controller for this. So controller name will be login controller and click on next. Um, for the cascading style, style sheets, you can also do that. Um, but for now, let's just, you know, leave it as it is without adding the CSS or cascading style sheets and click on finish. So it's going to generate two files, which is the login.fxml file and login controller.java. So um, I need also to create a new class. This will be the main class that we, 
that we will be using so I'm just gonna name it as lagin.fxml file okay I mean lagin.java not fxml so click on finish so right here we're gonna be uh, extending the application class and of course implement um, before that we need to import this of course the application class and then implement the um, uh, abstract methods which is start and uh, I'm just gonna remove that line for now and I'm going to add here a try and catch statement so exception x open close curly braces here I'm gonna type in parent and this will be the parent root equals um, fxml loader that load and then open and close um, parentheses and then get class this will be for loading the fxml file so get resource and of course inside here we'll be spe uh, specifying the lag in that fxml file so import the classes fxml loader and the parent class there you go now what we need is to um, set up the primary stage so that will be primary stage and then um, setting the title will be um, lag in primary stage and then set resizable equals to false primary stage um, let's just say set iconified into false primary stage dot set scene and that will be our um, root parent root so new scene and then parent root okay and then lastly will be showing the stage okay so that we will be able to see the output or the window of our application and particularly the lag in form so we're gonna be importing this scene class there you go and of course if something um, is wrong with our our logic here or our code here we're gonna be um, adding a lag so that will be systemed out the print line and then we're gonna be using the ex variable and then get message just to display if something happens here in our try um, block so and then system that exit so because there's no point if we have like an error here and then uh, to continue the execution of the application so we're gonna have to um, exit the application and anyway this is just the lag in so later on if we have like the dashboard window we don't have to exit the application so for now let's just type in the main class so I mean the main method public void uh, public static void main and then string uh, and args and then open and close curly braces and then we're gonna be calling the launch um, method and then we're gonna be adding the arguments so let us save this and make sure to clean and build our our application not run um, clean and build available classes okay so uh, let's just name this or rename this for example com new found software um, boss click on finish and um, we can add all these files right here refactor and then we now have the package com.newfoundsoftware.pos. Okay, 
and clean and build our um, it's not let's try to run our file first location is required so we need to clean and build our application browse application classes so let's try so we have added here import javafx application so it should be able to um, build our application so it's not getting there so let's go to properties and um, let's see here so add folder we have the src already clean and build it's not getting also there hmm so it's not working so we need to um, close this first and reopen it one uh, once again to like refresh the contents of our projects so netbeans projects and then point of sale and then open project so hopefully it will um, generate the necessary files so we needed to close the um, project and reopen it with netbeans that's because the ide didn't pick up the changes to our files the first time so if you try to clean and build right now then we're gonna be um, seeing the lag in main class so we're going to select that and um, also the, the the purpose that we're trying to clean and build the application is to have like a fresh version of our project once we run it so let's try to run our file and we should be um, we're not getting the output okay so let's check run file mm -hmm. classes let's try to make it as error There we go, we have an error here. So log in that fxml file. Uh, let's just print the stock trace for this. So run file and uh, load exception. Okay, so we're getting exception while loading the fxml file. So fxml loader and then load, then get class, get resource, and get and then that fxml file. Okay. Run file. So we're getting exception right here line 9 of our login.fxml file so login controller login controller right here okay so let's try to remove this first save Okay, so after that, run file, um, clean and build. So hopefully we will be getting the output that we want or we're expecting. So run file. And there you go. We ha now have the login 
window and um, of course we're going to add few elements right here so the first thing that we we're going to do is open up our lag in that fxml file and then this should be the default display that we're getting so what we can do here is to add the um, so for example the button okay and um, text box or text field password because after all this is the lag in um, form so let's resize this and also this okay this should be um, lag in there you go we could also resize this and label for our username and password label so username and then password okay so we could um reposition this just like that and um, resize the window itself okay so another label and of course this will be for login and we need to change the font um, bold and the size will be 14 okay so there you go um, save our file or like in um, that fxml file and then override there you go and go back to our netbeans ide and let's try to check if it um, okay so all good and right click uh, right click or log in that java oh, we need to clean and build first to see the updated or new version of our project so right click and we should be getting this form okay so i think that's all for this particular video and in the next video we're going to be um, adding the database connection to this and also um, designing the dashboard of our point of sale system so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video